Good morning, boys and girls, St. Bernadette, fellow staff and parents. Uh, it's me, Mr. Pryor. I'm coming to you from the spare room in my basement. Uh, I never in a million years thought I'd be doing this, making a YouTube video for you guys when I'm back to work. But here we are. Um, there's someone over here who wants some credit, though, for what I'm about to do. Okay. Uh, over the next number of weeks, I'll be sitting here at this desk giving you your assignments on Edsby, and I have an office assistant who you might remember. I think I've shown uh, a few of the classes before, my good buddy, Joey, and he wants some credit for what's going on around here. Don't you, pal? So he sits here, lays on the bed, waits for a rub, waits for a treat, and then waits for, I can't say the W word right now, because then he gets really excited. But So I've got to give this guy some credit for uh, all the work <laughs> that's going to be happening on Edsby uh, over the next number of weeks. Um, it's good to be back, and I think it's really important uh, that we keep in mind the theme for Catholic Education Week, which is next week. And the theme is Igniting Hope. Considering everything that's gone on in the last couple of months, I think we all need a little bit of hope. So uh, I've, I found a story, and I've posted it, uh, on, it, well, it's on YouTube, and uh, you're, what you can do today or in the coming days is read that book, and then there's just one question that I'm going to want you to answer, okay? And that it's all going to be written down on Edsby, and that question is, what positive or powerful message of hope would you like to share with others? And I think it's appropriate that I share my positive message of hope with you before you share yours with me. Um, you might remember that I got into a pretty bad car accident uh, a little over a year ago when I was driving home from work and uh, things haven't really been the same since and I haven't been able to do a lot of the things um, that, I, that I typically do day to day but things are getting better. So I'm going to tell you what my personal message of hope is. Um, to trust in God and then good things will happen. Okay? Now Considering all the things that I, I've gone through in the past year, I've had really bad headaches. I've been very fatigued. It's been tough for me to go on normal walks. I haven't been able to play hockey or basketball anymore. Um, things have been a lot different. And it's, there's been some difficult times. Uh, I've been doing some treatments to help me to get better. And one of the things that I've done is vision therapy. Now, you're going to notice here I'm wearing these glasses. And they're special glasses that help me to see properly. Now, after the accident... My vision was really affected, and I didn't know that, that the, the vision problems were what was causing a lot of my concussion symptoms to worsen over the months. Now, when I started seeing the right people, these vision therapists, I started to hope that things would get better. And I prayed and prayed, and I hoped and I hoped, and then well, as I did the vision exercises, things did start to get better, and my vision is slowly getting back to normal. Um, so that message of hope is to trust in God, because if I wasn't trusting in God, really believing that he was going to work through people to help make me better, it would, things would be a lot different today. So trust in God and good things are going to happen. And my example is the story of all the things that I've gone through, my difficulties over the past year to finally get to the place where I am today, where I'm back here with you guys talking to you on YouTube. Can you believe it? So, um, I guess I can sign off from now. Maybe I'll uh, do a YouTube video here and there, um, share with you guys some updates. And, oh, I, didn't, I don't know if you guys know, but uh, Mrs. Pryor and I, we had a baby, baby Henry. He's having a nap right now, so I, I can't bring him into this video. But maybe next week I'll show you baby Henry. So for now, uh, what I want you to do is just go on Edsby. I've written out exactly what I want you to do for me this week. Uh, and then get that to me by sometime next week. And then uh, I'll have your second assignment for you next week. And so I guess we'll sign off. Who wants to go for it? I think he knows. I said the W word. Signing off from Mr. Pryor's basement. Joey and Mr. Pryor. Guys, it's good to be back. We'll talk soon.